Hi, come cook with me because I'm Stella V. And if you like what you see, hit subscribe, leave a comment, tell me that you subscribed, and I'll reply. Today we will be making a beautiful bolognese sauce with rigatoni, and everything's going to be made in one pot. This was the first meal I ever made using pasta in an instant pot. I was amazed, and I know you will be too. That is totally unheard of. The traditional way, and you would have that sauce simmering for two or three hours stovetop. Satisfying meal, fit for company in under an hour. A bolognese sauce is a meat sauce, basically, and the first three ingredients: carrots, celery, and onions. These are the bases for many, many delicious soups and stews, and it is the beginnings of your bolognese sauce. The next important component of bolognese sauce is your meat. Typically, you can use ground veal, ground beef, or any combination of the two. Next, for the sauce, tomato sauce, white wine, and red wine. Always use a good quality wine, something that you enjoy drinking. Also, we have beef stock. Using the simple ingredient bolognese sauce, we can do all of the steps needed in a very simple manner. First thing we're doing: add a few tablespoons of olive oil to the bottom of your pot, and now add celery, onions, and carrots. We're going to need that to sauté for about five minutes. And you should be stirring it as you go with a wooden spoon. We don't want anything to stick to the bottom of that pot. Now we're ready to add the ground meat. Again, if you use a wooden spoon with a flat bottom, it's easy to break up the meat into small pieces. Now it's going to take a few minutes for the meat to brown. Keep stirring it with the wooden spoon because we don't want that to stick. Once the meat is browned, we're ready to add our wine. We're adding a quarter cup of white wine, and that will deglaze it. And then we're adding three quarters of a cup of red wine. The next step is really important. We're going to let that wine mixture sauté for ten minutes. And that will allow the time we need for the alcohol to dissipate and for the flavors to really meld together in that meat sauce. Now that we've simmered for 10 minutes, the meat mixture with the wine, we're ready to add the beef stock. And now that the beef stock is added, we're going to be putting in the rigatoni. Do not stir the rigatoni. That's really important. You're just simply putting them into the pot and pressing down into the beef stock so that the rigatoni is coated with the stock. The next layer are the tomatoes, and that's always the last layer. Whenever we're dealing with the tomato-based sauce, the tomato goes on top. The lid goes on. Pressure cook for six minutes. Yes. Six minutes is up, and what we have is a delicious rigatoni in a bolognese sauce. It's important now to give the entire mixture a big stir and make sure that all of the tomato is mixed in with the rest of the sauce. And here we have it. Less than an hour. Delicious rigatoni with a really tasty, tasty bolognese sauce. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Tell me you've subscribed, and I'll get back to you. Come cook with me. I'm Stella V.